Did Kamala Harris take the estate of Nina Simone away from her family and give it to some arbitrary white people? That's the accusation that's been made against her. Now, let's talk about what really happened. Nina Simone died in April of 2003. She left a will. That will said that her daughter, Lisa Simone Kelly, was to get her condo in Los Angeles, which she did get. That will also provided for her brother to get the proceeds from the sale of her home in France, which he did get. The will further provided two cash awards to individuals, which they got. But the residue of her estate, or the remainder of her estate, she specifically and expressly said she wanted to be set aside in a trust so that children living in South Africa, Ghana, and Sierra Leone would be able to receive musical education. At some point, Nina Simone's daughter, Lisa Simone Kelly, became the trustee of the will, the person that's responsible for making sure that the wishes of Nina Simone were recognized and executed. As a part of that, serving as the trustee, she had to file reports with or accountings with the probate court. And when she filed one particular probate court, it caught the attention of the attorney general for the state of California. Now, what you need to understand about the attorney general of the state of California is that the attorney general's office is responsible for ensuring that all monies that have been set aside for a charitable purpose through a trust such as what Nina Simone set up were actually used for that purpose and that they were not being diverted to some unlawful or improper purpose. So when Nina Simone's daughter, Lisa Simone Kelly, filed her accounting, they found irregularities. And what the irregularities was is that she had diverted $1.5 million from the trust account to her personal use. The accusation is that Kamala Harris prosecuted and took the estate from Nina Simone's family. The reality is that the attorney general's office in the state of California is comprised of 1,100 lawyers. There are six offices, one in Sacramento, one in San Francisco, one in Oakland, one in Fresno, one in Los Angeles, and one in San Diego. Now the Los Angeles office was the office that filed the accusation against Lisa Simone Kelly that she had diverted uh, the funds from the trust account to her personal use, $1.5 million. Initially, the Deputy Attorney General Sonia M. Burnt, and her name is spelled B-R-N-D-T, I pronounce it Burnt, she was the one, not Kamala Harris, but her deputy, Kamala Harris deputy, Sonia M. Burnt, brought these charges into the Court of Los Angeles, in the Superior Court of Los Angeles, against Lisa Simone Kelly, essentially accusing her of stealing from the trust. So the idea that, that, that Kamala Harris was taking money or taking the trust, arresting or ripping the trust away from the family and giving it to some random white person is just basically fundamentally not true. What the Attorney General's office was doing, not Kamala Harris specifically, but her office was doing, was making the effort to enforce Nina Simone's will. So for those of you that are actually concerned about Nina Simone, that actually love her, that actually know who she is and what her, her art was, I think a lot of people talking about Nina Simone don't give a rip about Nina Simone, don't even know who she is, but it's an allegation that is so scandalous. It is something that potentially could erode Black people's trust and confidence and support for Kamala Harris. So we need to deal with that. For those of you who actually care about Nina Simone and what she wanted, what she expressed specifically and expressly in her will, then you should actually be commending and celebrating Kamala Harris because what she did was ensure that those children in South Africa, in Ghana, and in Sierra Leone were going to get the musical education that Nina Simone wanted them to receive. But in order for that to happen, Lisa Simone Kelly had to be disgorged. That means she had to give the money back that she stole. She potentially could have faced criminal charges. Initially, the attorney general's office wanted to charge her a fine of $6 million. 
and also interest of another $2 million. But they reached a settlement, and this is available to you. All you have to do is look it up on the web. Any of you who want to know the truth, it is the estate of Nina Simone versus Lisa Simone Kelly. For you to see, you don't have to take my words. I wish you would look it up. And then when you find out that it's true, share it with someone else. So we can put this, this lie, this inaccuracy, this scandalous statement against Kamala Harris to bed. What our office did is enforce the will of Nina Simone. And the monies were not given, the estate, the, the control of the estate was not given to any random person. It was given to an entity. The name of the entity is San Pasquale. Now, they are in the business of administering trust. That's their profession. That's what they do. It wasn't Joe on the street. There's not a, a random white family or a random white business out there benefiting from the proceeds of, of Nina Simone's uh, estate. That's a mistruth. That's a misnomer. It didn't happen the way that people are saying. We're trying to set the record straight here today about whether or not Kamala Harris, when she was serving as the attorney general of the state of California, stole, took away without just cause the estate of Nina Simone from her family. Now, so what happened in the settlement agreement was this, that in lieu of charging Lisa Simone Kelly a fine of roughly $6 million, Nina Simone Kelly agreed to relinquish her control as the trustee of Nina Simone's estate. She also agreed to not serve also as the administrator of her her probate estate in exchange for her giving up and signing away any rights to control any part or any interest in the estate, the state of California didn't pursue those fines against her in the interest. So that's what happened. It's on the record. It's easily knowable. Know the truth. This accusation against Kamala Harris is a lie. Hi, friends. If you enjoyed that video, please be sure to check out this video right here. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.